our loving and generous God. We praise and thank you for the bountiful blessings you have given us. Thank you for giving us mind that can know and heart that can love. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic that had caused a lot of changes in our lives. We are sorry for the times we have failed you. We humbly ask for your forgiveness. Father, help us stay focused on our studies. When learning becomes difficult, grant us the gift of courage and enthusiasm. Grant us the grace to use our knowledge in making difference into the lives of the people around us. All this we pray in your mighty name. Amen. Hello! Welcome to TLE class. I'll be your teacher, Mr. Oliver Narang. Here are the rules in our online class. Rule number one, be prompt. Be in your online class 10 to 15 minutes before the call begins. Rule number two, check your internet connection and your devices before the start of the online class. Rule number three, find a quiet and comfortable place to study and keep your things nearby. Rule number four, dress appropriately. No sleeveless, no topless, no wearing of shorts when attending the virtual class. Rule number five, turn off your microphone when someone is speaking or when it is not yet your turn to speak. Rule number six, turn on your camera so that your teacher and classmate can see you. Rule number seven, pay attention while your teacher is discussing or while your classmate is speaking. Rule number eight, be respectful. Avoid doing things that may disrupt your teacher and classmates. Rule number 9. Use the chat box appropriately. Post your comments or questions that are only related to the lesson. Rule number 10. Participate actively. Answer when your teacher calls your name. Rule number 11. Do the different tasks online and submit your requirements on time. Rule number 12. Be safe online. Do not give your password and your personal information to anyone. Thank you. Happy learning! Happy learning class! How are you doing today? I hope you're all good. Please stay home and keep safe. I'm Sir Oliver Narag. Welcome to our video lesson in TLE9 Illustration. For our most essential learning competencies, Most essential learning competencies. Number one, explain the proper proportion in drawing. Number two, lay out figures and objects according to illustration requirement. The previous lesson is all about facial proportion. Now, let's check if you still remember the step by step drawing of facial proportion. Drill, arrange the drawing in order by putting numbers one to five. Let's check your answers. The answer is 25143. If you got it right, congratulations. Today we are going to study about figure proportion. The human body is a work of art with several proportions. The proportion of human body in drawing is significant to an artist for realistic and more conveying artwork. Illustrators or artists draw realistic type which uses proportions closeness to human being. Some artists create cartoon type drawing they usually overemphasize or distort the details of the figure today the most common used drawing technique in measuring human figure is by head counting. The figure is generally thought to be between seven and a half and eight heads tall. Head counting the method of using the length of the head as basis for identifying the height of the human figure. Let us start. Step 1. Draw a line. Step 2. Draw a line through the center until you have 8 dashes. Step 3. Draw oval head, erase later on.
Step 4 Draw Down Arrow for Waist Step 5 Draw Waist Out at Center, 2 Heads Wide, Draw Knees, Center Line Below. Step 6 Draw Shoulders with 2 and 1 Half Heads, Under, Wide Men, Less Wide for, Women. Step 7 Draw the elbows slightly above the third line down. Step 8 Wrists come down a bit lower in groin area. Step 9 Your hands should be the size of your face the part of hairline in your face, then define your drawing. Then the last step is detailing and cleanup. Detailing is the method of adding details in drawing or sketch. Adding thicker lines on sketch gives highlight to the details of drawing. Cleanup is the process of creating the final drawing. The process of erasing unnecessary details or pencil marks in the drawing can be done. In drawing cartoon figure the illustrator use the basic proportion. Cartoon figure usually has less number of heads compared to realistic type with 71 halves or 8 head counts. The head counts will serve as guide for their drawing but illustrators exaggerate the sizes of the figure to add character and appeal. For your assignment. In a clean sheet of paper, try to draw a human figure facing back in standing position. Apply the things that you learned in drawing human figure proportion. Your activity will be graded using a rubric. Refer to page 12. If you have some question, wag mahiyang mag-message sa ating Facebook Messenger group chat. And that ends our lesson for today. Did you understand it very well? If not, you may go back to the lesson presented on your module. O kaya naman, pwede mong i-play ulit ang video na to that will be posted on our FB group. If today's lesson is very clear to you, congratulations. See you soon on our next video lesson. Keep safe and God bless.